Can AI write a winning proposal? Watch as I put ChatGPT to the test and use it to write a proposal to the government. And be sure to stick around with me to the end because I want to share with you the best ways you can use ChatGPT to write your proposals. And I'll tell you, I was blown away by the results, so you don't want to miss this. Our test starts with a solicitation for a government contract. And I picked this one at random, so this would be a true test of ChatGPT. We're going to write a proposal to the Department of Veterans Affairs for a contract to provide security assistance services. Next, I scroll through the solicitation to find the proposal submittal instructions. The government tells us they want us to submit two volumes. Volume one will contain forms they want us to fill in and our price. And volume two is the technical and management approach. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write the technical and management approach. And these instructions tell us what information the government wants us to include in volume two. So I'm going to copy those instructions and then go to ChatGPT and ask it to write volume two. To find ChatGPT, go to the website openai.com and then at the top of the page, under product, select ChatGPT. So here I am in ChatGPT and this here is the exact prompt that I entered. I wrote, I am submitting a proposal for a government contract to provide security assistance services to the Department of Veterans Affairs. Please write Volume 2, Technical Management Approach. This volume should describe the management methodology that will be used for executing the work. It should include staffing approach, background investigation considerations, meeting deliverable deadlines, and identifying and managing risks. Now remember, I didn't invent those words. I copied them directly from the solicitation. That's what the solicitation told me to cover in my proposal. And now here, this is what ChatGPT has written. It starts by saying, this volume presents the technical and management approach that will be employed to execute the security assistance services contract for the Department of Veterans Affairs. Our company is dedicated to delivering exceptional security services and we have developed a comprehensive management methodology to ensure the successful implementation of this contract. The next step it writes is staffing approach. Our staffing approach focuses on providing highly skilled and qualified security assistants who will meet the unique requirements of the Department of Veterans Affairs. We will adhere to the following steps to ensure the deployment of competent personnel. And it divides it into four sections, recruitment process, qualifications and certifications, experience and training, and adequate staffing levels. And it describes each one of those. The next section it writes is background investigation considerations. It writes, we recognize the criticality of maintaining the security and integrity of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Hence, our approach to background investigations will be rigorous and meticulous. The following measures will be implemented. And it's come up with three sections here, thorough background checks, fingerprinting and biometrics, and security clearance support. Next, it writes the section Meeting Deliverable Deadlines. Meeting deliverable deadlines is of utmost importance to us. We will establish a robust project management framework to ensure the timely completion of all project deliverables. Our approach includes, and it talks about clear communication channels, task planning and scheduling, and progress monitoring and reporting. The next section is identifying and managing risks. It writes, 
Effective risk management is a fundamental aspect of our management methodology. We will adopt a proactive approach to identify, assess, mitigate, and manage risks throughout the execution of the security assistance services. Our approach includes, now let me show you something about ChatGPT. At this point, it just stopped. But all I had to do, this was my prompt again, I just typed in the word continue and hit enter, and it just kept going. So the whole section is risk identification, risk assessment and mitigation, risk monitoring and reporting, incident management, and then lessons learned and continuous improvement. And then ChatGPT ended here with a conclusion. And here's what it wrote. In conclusion, our technical and management approach for executing the security assistance services contract for the Department of Veterans Affairs encompasses a robust staffing approach, rigorous background investigation, adherence to deliverable deadlines, and effective risk management strategies. We are confident that our expertise, dedication, and commitment to excellence will ensure the successful implementation of this contract, supporting the security and well-being of the department and its personnel. Now, we can just copy what ChatGPT wrote, paste it into our word processing program, and edit it. And I didn't want to take time in this quick demo. But if I wanted more detail, I could have just asked ChatGPT to retype the document and make it more detailed. So what do you all think of this? I think it's a pretty incredible first draft of a proposal. And remember, all I did was tell ChatGPT the requirements from the solicitation, and ChatGPT wrote it for me. Now, of course, when you're doing this for your own proposal, you'll edit what ChatGPT wrote and put in your own details. You'll do a compliance check. Make sure the proposal meets the requirements. For a first draft, I think this is great. And I know lots of people struggle with creating the first draft. For lots of folks, getting those first words down on paper is the hardest part. So I think ChatGPT is going to be a game changer in reducing the time it takes to write a proposal. Hey friends, I hope you now have more confidence about writing proposals to the government. For what to do next, check out my step-by-step -step video to learn all of the details of how to submit a proposal. And I've also made a video that shows exactly how to find government contracts to bid on. Check out the links in the notes below, and I'll see you next time.